Hello my fellow mayors and welcome once again to Pera Philosoph City Skylines with us. In this one I'll be continuing to build up the city in which I plan to reach 1 million population on the hard mode, the city of Bedrock. Well, it's been a while be uh, since I made another video. This is because I've been spending a lot more time in the city off screen. I actually had to do this because I had a lot of changes to make. Starting off with the mod that I used in some of the previous episodes and I decided to keep it in the city, the fill all homes mod, which forces the city to fill every tall building and every small building with the maximum amount of sims that it can hold. So now every building you can take a look at will actually force itself to use, uh, the mod will force it to use the maximum amount of households. Well before it would be like 19 out of 25, now it's 25 out of 25. This led to a very large increase in population and if you look at the city statistics you can see that uh, this was about the time that I did this and I had this huge change from around 230,000 population all the way up to 270 and I even reached the 315,000 or 310,000 mark at one point but you see this huge drop off here. I landed down to just 166,000 population at one point. I had a huge dead wave that you can see here, if I can just manage to click on this. Uh, you see these spikes in the death rate, these huge spikes. This is because all the teams that came into the city in this influx that you can see here ended up dying at the same time. And you see since then I had large peaks, while before I had small peaks, small rises, small down increases and I was going up and up. But now I have these huge peaks like this in both the influx, in the birth rate, in the death rate and then in the population as well. Since then I've been slowly and gradually rebuilding the city. You can see it took me around 30-40 years to do this and I'm happy with where I am at the moment. I have uh, fewer and fewer of these uh, drop-offs. I had, as you can see, two more large death waves. I simply had too many people dying at the same time because they came into the city at the same time. Even with my, uh, at that time, around 3,500 capacity for uh, the crematoriums, for the uh, collection of uh, dead folks, I was actually at around 5, 6, 7, I believe I was once at 8,000 deceased at one point. You probably saw in my last video huge abandonment and huge red skulls above the city flashing, meaning that nobody's picking up the dead people. Since then, like I said, I played a lot. Uh, another change I made was to actually go back to the offices. I uh, did take a uh, loss in the budget because of them. I am not earning as much as I did before. You can see that my commercial sector is nowhere near what it used to be. But I had to do this because the noise pollution was starting to affect a lot of these teams. As they do live right between the commercial zones, they started uh, yelling about the noise pollution. And you can see that even now uh, it is kind of reddish, but it's not totally red. When I didn't have these offices here uh, as zones without noise pollution creation, uh, these zones where the uh, residential uh, is and where it seems left was totally red. And I at the moment have around 500, 600 six sims, mostly because of the noise pollution. At uh, the time that I deleted all the offices and had uh, every commercial building right next door to the residential, I ended up having uh, two or three thousand uh, sick people. And as you can see, my capacity is at around 3,300, so that was just not sustainable. I had too many ambulances on the roads, clogging everything up, and that started creating problems. So I decided to go back to the offices. It was a monumental task, and I managed to do it. And then I also decided to fill up every nook and cranny with the offices. You can see a lot of these small offices here in between the highways, then uh, everywhere where I had one space remaining. You can see a lot of these small ones, uh, especially over here. And then uh, I, uh, the reason that I did this was because I decided to go back to the Hydron Collider. Now, uh, the first time I used it, I had a big problem with unemployment going up about 40% because at that time uh, all of my residential commercial offices industry was not this uh, highly raised. You can see a residential is fully level 5, commercial fully level 3, offices 3 quarters level 3, industrial almost fully at level 3. In the first attempt with the Hadron Collider, this was all at around 20-30% uh, at maximum level. And it then forced everything up to max level, ending up with a lot more teams going into my city and then becoming unemployed because they stopped being students. You can see here that when I turned on the Hadron Collider, 
around uh, 69,000 students right away uh, stopped being students and became the workforce. That is what ruined me when I first attempted the Hydron Collider a few videos back. But this time why it worked was because I actually had used the Eden project first, upgraded all of my residential to level 5, commercial to level 3, industry almost everything was at level 3, and then uh, that was an incrementally less of an increase than with the Hydron Collider, which allowed me to actually have a breathing room to uh, fix everything up. And then once I fixed that unemployment, which was reaching about 20%, then I turned on the Hydron Collider and once again the unemployment was at around 20%. This also led to thinning out some of the uh, residential areas. You can remember here there used to be four tick and you can still see um, some of these zones four tick, but I went and reduced their size and added a lot more offices, commercial and industry in between. The uh, offices uh, are keeping the goods balanced because they are taking up the space that would rather uh, instead of the offices be taken up by commercial or industry and i have just enough goods to cover all of my needs for my city and i'm even exporting a little bit uh, i'm importing at around 12,000. now the commercial uh, does uh, bring in a lot more in tax because of the use of the uh, one particular city planning Police, which is the big business benefactor, even though it costs an upkeep per commercial building, it increases uh, their uh, sales by double and that increases the taxes by a lot and that is uh, why I have such a high tax income from them. While as you can see the income from the offices is ridiculously low at 17,000 same with the industry while 220,000 from offices, from commercial. And take a look at this in the statistics, if we take a look at how many of the actual zones do I have in the commercial industry and office? You can see that the uh, industrial zone is uh, almost uh, twice less uh, than the office zone, yet it produces the same amount of tax income, while the uh, commercial is only slightly higher than the office, yet it produces, what, 10 times, 15 times more taxes? So you can see the developers, I think, should have increased how much uh, money you can get from industry and offices. Uh, even with the police being used for the commercial, it just shouldn't be so disbalanced. Now, you can see that I actually do have medium demand for residential zones, while at, at the same time losing population. Uh, now, with the city this uh, big and this much population, there is a large uh, changeover between uh, these zones and where it seems want to live, where they do not wish to live. I do have unemployment only at 3% at the moment. I have around 22,000 jobs free. Uh, so I can uh, employ a lot more teams and that is why my uh, demand here is so high because I have a lot of jobs to fill. You will also notice that I redid my original area where I started off from. I started off from here if you remember from the first episode and uh, I didn't want to touch this area for a very long time but uh, at the point when I had only 160,000 population I decided well I might as well disown everything, uh, bulldoze everything and then redo it. So I redid it using the template that I found to be most uh, useful with the highways in the middle going uh, off to the right, going around then going back over here, going back down into the middle, the highways being on the left, the uh, highway ramps going off the highway on one side, going onto the highway on the next, there being uh, cross streets uh, every few blocks, and with three residential areas 4x4, one office area 4x4, two commercial areas 4x4, one industry zone, and then repeat. But uh, from time to time I would add an extra commercial zone or an extra industrial zone, just to keep the goods and taxes balanced. This is all managing to cover my expenses, especially because of the fact that now that I'm using the uh, fusion power plant, even with the budget at 50%, I'm producing more than enough power, as I require only around uh, 3 gigawatts, while I am producing 4.3 with the budget at 50%, and with the uh, additional uh, building of the Hadron Collider, my education even at 50 budget provides enough seems to be educated. You can see 83% highly educated, 4% well, 10% educated and 3% uneducated. The birth rate and the death rate uh, do go up and down uh, by themselves a lot and that uh, then influences how many seniors and adults I have later on but I haven't experienced any large death rates in a while. I did increase the capacity for crematoriums by a few uh, 
crematoriums, which led to an increase from around 3,500 to 4,600. And then every time I see uh, a lot of people dying at the same time, increase the budget to add a few more vehicles to those buildings so that they can get rid of the dead folks and their bodies. I also redid the transportation, the public transportation. I redid almost the entire metro network because I needed to change over a lot of stops. I deleted and rebuilt a lot of these connections, especially when I redid the original part of the city. I managed to add a few more of these uh, water treatment plants along the shore here when I redid the highway. Uh, the two car harbors are staying just two. I don't need any more and uh, I added a uh, off ramp here which led to a decrease in the traffic flow on this intersection here. Now uh, like I said this is pretty much everything, I didn't change much more, I might have just added uh, some areas like for example here this is a strictly um, industrial area, it has its own uh, district here as you can see it's marked off like this, uh, there is the recycling uh, polis in order to reduce the amount of garbage they produce there's parks and recreation uh, recreational use of drugs is around the city so to reduce the uh, crime uh, the crime rate i had i had a high crime rate at uh, a high unemployment rate at this point i could probably even de uh, turn off the recreational use of drug policy because i do not have that many unemployed and they are not creating any problems with the crime but I will leave it on as it doesn't cost much. There is uh, also one additional reason why I did this uh, by excluding these few industrial areas by themselves is to be able to uh, use the industrial space balls on a small area when I need extra goods. As you can see for some reason I have a piece of the pie here saying that I'm importing even though I have a lot of exporting and when I see that happening I just go here use the industrial space balls on a small area like this and then uh, that uh, in a while, it takes a while for it to start to kick in and start uh, producing more goods but when it, when, uh, it does I end up producing more goods than I even need. So uh, that's pretty much it. Uh, I do create a lot of less pollution and a lot of less garbage than I did before and you can see I even have more capacity than I even need at the moment. So you can even turn off some of these and even out the capacity and production. could probably even turn off one more. Let's just find one more, for example, over here. And that would be pretty much balanced. Uh, so yeah, I can even get a little bit higher income by doing that. The uh, balance itself uh, goes wildly up and down. It changes a lot because of the amount of homes that I have, the taxes uh, and the income from them, the income from the commercial sector, uh, the income from the uh, transportation. Uh, currently around uh, 16,000 people are using my uh, transportation network which is kind of low considering that I have 260,000 population. I'm not sure is it the problem with how I set up my lines or the stops but I will definitely have to work on that and I would welcome any advice that you might have. The current system is that every area has its own dedicated bus line and its dedicated uh, metro line and then when there are connections between two areas I set up a uh, bus line and a metro line that connects uh, the outline ones and then uh, that I think helps to use up uh, the inner ones so if you want to go from one part of the city to the other you use the internal uh, the bus line or the metro line for that part of the city you will go to the part where I have a line that connects that part of the city with the other one you uh, transfer over and then you are in the other part of the city I'm thinking that that's uh, useful and that works if you guys have any uh, ideas what I could change in that, you are free to give me advice in the comment section. What I now need to start doing is to finally expand over here because I do have this large demand for residential zones, this large amount of jobs available to be filled, so I need to expand. Like I said, I'm actually going to expand by going with the highways first and then creating the grid inside. As for the train stations, I will try placing one in here and one in here and seeing how that turns out. Uh, for this part of the city, their entrance comes off from here, the teams are going to move with the cars from here and there are going to be connections in here with these parts of the city below the highways. So I've already raised up the railway and it's in the middle, it's straight, so I just need to add the highways to the edges and then uh, connect over here with this one. So uh, basically how this is going to look like is that I would first need to uh, 
delete this connection, straighten this out so that they would be having an intersection here that would lead the traffic in. I'm not sure how to actually make this look like. I am trying to see how I did it in some of the other areas and I'm thinking whether or not I will even have an area over here because as you can see there's a lot of uneven terrain here that doesn't seem to give a lot uh, of space available for zoning so uh, I'm not sure how to connect into here uh, I'm thinking that I will first need to bulldoze these roads here like so then uh, my connection will of course have to go like this and like this so if I start off from here it will be easier to see where I'm going to stop uh, the road starts on the right side which means that it goes like this and goes up and then when it comes to about here they need to go up well they are up all the time I mean and so they come about to here the highway then turns onto the right so I need to turn like this a bit further actually, not this close so from here then it goes all the way to the edge need to turn off snapping if I want to have drawn by freehand See, that's why I wanted to go uh, little by little, because if I had started from over here, he would have done this. Now that uh, all the highways are set, I just need to think of the highway intersection which will incorporate the raised railway or I can lower down the railway depending on how this will all connect. In any event, I need to have uh, this go above everything. pretty much done the railway goes through here now uh, as I plan to put one of the curvature and turn malls in here and the other one in here oh, actually one will go here 
at one quarter and three quarters so about here and here and this does not really look straight which is the part that annoys me the most mm, yeah i know is it the is it an optical illusion because of the terrain or is this really yeah it looks like it starts here and then ends up in here instead of here can't really tell but it looks like it's uneven yeah i'll play around with this a little bit more if i decide to actually make it a little bit more straighter if it's not an optical illusion anyway uh, like i said the train stations to lower them down i can play the game now uh, let it play i can lower this to go down uh, make an uh, off ramp like this uh, make the train station here and then go back here which would require just to raise the high a little bit on to those places where i need the off ramps to go through uh, and this is of course where the expansion of the city will happen next i will of course draw the connection between these streets here so that these parts can connect straight into the old parts of the city and there will be a way to connect these two parts below the highway as well well that'll be all for this video thank you all for watching and please stay tuned for more